Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I found 12 by 24 inch pre-prime black canvases on sale at Michael's yesterday so that's what I'm using today and I don't, I can't find any that are not that size. So I'm just going to do whatever comes to mind and have some fun and I'm going to try and do it with yellow and orange and maiden paint. and probably swipe. That was a iridescent pearl fine added to a, an orange that I made up from a Hobby Lobby brand color. This is an Arteza. Pearl of some kind. This is, I think that was the golden hour actually. I think this might be an iridescent yellow. It's very acid yellow. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a lot nervous right now. But that's okay. I'm hoping I have some nice red orange around here somewhere. There it is. That will help. I might even use some actual super red orange. Shake it up. Okay, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I need white maiden because that is my cell producer. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a double shot. And grab a scrape dish. If I don't like the way that works, we'll go on for black. I want some gold in there. I almost forgot the gold. This is a decor Americana. 24 karat gold. Just going to see how far I could get the paint color to go. This might be one of those times I like to leave the um, background black. But you never know with me what I'm going to do. That's pretty cool. I might be done. <laughs> I didn't put any black in there, but I could. I could put some black on a dip card and see what happens. Just because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Let's grab. I've got a choice. Let's put some of that right there. Oh boy, here goes nothing. I'm going to wipe that off in between because I'm afraid it'll turn green or blue-green or turn the yellow. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to take my residuals and put them right along the edge. That's pretty cool so far. Not unhappy with that at all. Now if I'm gonna pull that, it has to go here. Oh, I need to wipe that off. Let's use everything. Okay, so if I'm gonna go like that, that needs to be right here. Right like that. Where do I want this to go? Anywhere? It's too nice to waste. Let's 
So that's like super fast and super done because I think ruining that would just be numb. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have to fill in. I'm going to torch. Do I need more black? I don't know that I do. That was a fun experiment. I'm going to be doing more of that. So I leave my paint heavy because I have GAC 800 in my, all my paint mixtures. If you guys want to help me out, I have a monthly drawing for those of you who contribute to help keep the studio going. You can find out what the prizes are in the end screen of any video in the last 20 seconds on the exhibition video. I think that's got some good balance. I thought maybe I should do some more, but the truth is, whatever I want to do... might just have something more to do with what I've got in my dish. Just go to the edge. I don't really see so much I want to do though. I'm looking for places that need help and I don't see very many of them. But I like the idea of adding a few little bits and bobs. Here and there because I've got the paint. It's a little bit dangerous because I definitely like what I have. So am I done? Mm, good question. I've got two scraped dishes and I probably don't have enough time to do another painting, but maybe, just maybe, I can, I can sneak in an 8 by 10 I'm just going to let that paint go down over the edge. You know, I'm being called to go back and use a little bit more black. Just going to snag a little tiny bit of paint right out of my scrape dish. No, I'm still pretty happy with that. I'm trying to force myself to work on it more, but I'm not having very much success. I do see that I have a place here that I would rather be filled in with paint though. Okay, so what did I tell you guys? <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for watching longer. Thank you for watching when the notifications come out. Thank you for the wonderful comments you give me. Thank you for all of the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I'm just going to use fingerfuls of paint that matches the spots that are flowing down over the edge, on the edge. To finish off and make it look cohesive. I am wishing that I had pre-primed the canvas black, but it's happened before and it'll be okay. So where was I? I was telling you guys about Facebook groups on my ex Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has albums of the YouTube wet and dry artworks that you can find to look at. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a, students, is a group for students. 
I'm just hoping that I can match these up somewhat well. And it seems like so far so good. Maybe not perfectly, but better than nothing. I really like that. The cells are a little subtle. I can't wait to see what they dry like, really and truly. Making sure that I don't see canvas when I put my little extra touches in there. Just sort of floating the paint on the surface. Hoping I don't flow too much of it where it's not supposed to go right now while I tip. I love you guys. I hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves too. Please check my Amazon link for all kinds of tools and, and paint and canvases and cameras and tents and you name it. Summer's coming. It's almost here. Can't wait for pool season. Honestly, it's been a long winter in Florida. The pool was as green as green jello. We didn't even dare peek under that cover. So, I could torch again. Wow, that's cool! I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for subscribing if you're subscribed. Please subscribe if you're not. If you're newly subscribed, welcome! If you've been here a while, I'm really happy you're still here. Check my email address. It's underneath the link tree underneath the video. When you click show more, you'll also find my paint pouring recipe in the description underneath the video. If you're interested in purchasing an artwork or taking a class in the house at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, use my email address to contact me. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate the help. Look on the link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my, face, my Facebook groups, and my website Facebook groups. I, I think I already told you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've made four videos in a row, and it's hard to remember what I told you guys or not. There's over 1,800 videos and 18 lists of 100. There will be 19, 19 lists of 100 pretty soon, and uh, they're also divided onto playlists by topic and genre, and you can find them by going to all playlists, create a playlist, or just asking me for a link, and I will give it to you. If you need a link for anything, including products on my Amazon link, uh, please ask me, and I will hook you up. Uh, if you shop my Amazon link, you'll find my two books there because I can and unlimited possibilities. And whatever you buy, what in any category from my link will help me purchase art supplies. And I want to thank you again for all the donations that help keep me painting. And make sure to look on that exhibition video on the end screen in the last 20 seconds for this month's prizes. I do a drawing at the end of the month. Teespring clothing underneath the video has Oliver print leggings and Oliver print t-shirts. If there's ever anything that you guys would like to see added to what I'm offering for prints, please don't hesitate to ask. I will give it my best shot to add it. And uh, I love you guys. Take care of each other. I told you that like three times now. I love you. I love you. I love you. There we're even. Um, Bye for now. We'll see you anon. Priscilla out.